When was the last time you serviced your filter, regulator, or lubricator? If you ask yourself, when was the last time you performed FRL maintenance, it may be time to do so. Air preparation at the point of use is very important and should not be overlooked. Here are four easy steps to follow to ensure proper maintenance of your system. Tip number one, change the filter cartridge regularly. It is quite easy to identify a used filter element with a visual inspection. The original cartridge filter is usually white in color and gets darker when clogged with impurities, as shown here. The saturation of each filter element depends on how air is treated when it leaves the compressor, as well as how often the compressed air system is used, continuously or occasionally. An easy tip is to plan on changing your filter elements is at least once a year. How do you change the filter cartridge depends on the filter model and type. Remove the filter bowl and then unscrew the filter element to replace it with a new element. This can be done on a pressurized system by venting the safety valve used to isolate the FRL. Over time, the filter eventually reaches its impurity retention capacity and becomes clogged. If the air filter is not changed in time, the filter creates a difference in pressure. Air can no longer circulate freely. Water is neither filtered nor eliminated. As a result, power is wasted and poor air quality leads to problems with pneumatic tools and equipment. Tip number two, check the condition of the filter bowl. Take a good look at the condition of your filter's bowl. If it is cracked or fissured, replace it immediately. A defective bowl causes air loss or worse, it, it may burst and project hazardous fragments. Bowls are available in a range of materials, delivering improved resistance. For instance, clear polyurethane bowls are resistant to most chemicals, whereas metal bowls lined with a visual gauge provide a 360-degree visibility without compromising the safety and resistance of metal bowls. Bowls with guards are protected from impacts and breakage. Tip number three, make sure you adjust the regulator. Set the regulator based on needs and on manufacturer's recommendations. This will prevent overconsumption of air and yield power savings. In addition, it will reduce premature wear of tools and equipment due to overly high air pressure. Always check the regulator's pressure gauge. Note that the pressure must be adjusted while the system is operating so the air supply reflects the actual need. The regulator's role is to maintain constant air pressure, whatever fluctuations in the compressed air system. Regulators are also used to adjust the pressure or flow to the specific needs of the application. Tip number four, keep the right oil level in the lubricator. The lubricator's role is to continuously inject an oil mist into the system. This step prevents friction and wear of moving parts and pneumatic tools and equipment. It also protects your system from corrosion. There are several types of pneumatic oil for your air tools, not to be confused with the oil you actually use for your compressor. For example, mineral oil, synthetic oil, or food grade air tube lubricant. First, ensure you always maintain the correct oil level. To avoid running out of oil, check the oil level in the lubricator periodically. The boils have markings that actually indicate the required min and max oil levels. Ensure that the required oil level is not exceeded. The frequency of filling the bowl depends actually on your usage. Second, ensure your tools are properly lubricated. Adjust the lubricator's tension using the control knob on the top of the lubricator. You can tighten or loosen the knob as necessary. To check if the tension is right, turn on the pneumatic tool or item of equipment and check the glass indicator on the top of the lubricator. The indicator will show the drops of oil being released into the stream of compressed air towards the tools. Every air tool has its own specifications for lubrication. Too little oil causes excessive wear and premature breakage. Conversely, too much oil is a waste and a source of pollutants, clogging your pneumatic tools and equipment. Now all you have to do is reinstall your FRL and reactivate your compressed air system. For a checklist of things to look for when performing a complete maintenance of your air system, refer to Topring's three-step maintenance guide.